peeps and welcome back for your take five art video for March. I'm very excited to be sharing this one with you because I love how it came out. So first before we get started, the prompts this month were chosen by Amira. All the lovely ladies who are in the challenge who make videos every month are listed below and Amira is one of them. So this month she chose the prompts as follows. One, a theme that portrays your inner emotions in your piece. Two, a figure from a magazine. Three, a mixed media background. Four, cutout slash collage words. And five, just a doodle. So I believe it or not, I am making a journal page today, <laughs> which is like so unheard of. If you follow my Take 5 Art Challenge videos regularly, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you've just stumbled upon this video, the Take 5 Art Challenge is a collaboration that I've been doing for several years with 11 other ladies. Each month, one of us in that group chooses five prompts and then the rest of us create some kind of creative project using those prompts and share it with you in the hopes that it will inspire you to also participate and create something with those prompts and use the hashtag take five art to share it with us. Uh, Kira, the Simply Creative Kira, the creator of this challenge has a playlist over on her YouTube channel of all of the videos as well as videos you guys have made which is really fun so go ahead over and check that out if you're interested but what I'm doing here is creating my background of course uh, I absolutely love collage and that's what I started with so I just pulled out a bunch of different images and pieces of scrap paper from my bin and other things I had floating around and just started creating a background. I already had the snow cone imagery over there on the left, so you'll see how I kind of incorporate that into the page, but I'm just laying down all these different pieces. I laid them out as to where I thought I wanted them beforehand, and then I'm just using some matte medium and a brush to stick them all down. So my theme for this page, since you're supposed to do a theme that portrays your inner emotions, um, I don't know if it technically was the theme for the page, but what I did was I went on my computer, which you'll see a little later, uh, and wrote down kind of how I've been feeling lately. Uh, lately I've just been like very foggy. I like don't, I can't focus on anything. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to create. I don't want to clean my house. I don't want to <laughs> uh, do my usual like spiritual practice. I just want to sit on the couch and cuddle with my dog and watch TV. And that's not really like me at all, which is weird for me. So instead of making a page that portrayed that, I decided to make a page that I knew would make me feel better, if that makes any sense. Uh, here, amongst my various shots of my bun on top of the head, because you really needed to see that in grave detail, uh, I put some glitter on here with some matte medium, so I just dumped some on there. Uh, just to change things up. It's something I haven't really done before and I do really like the texture that I added to the background. I also chose this tomato <laughs> lady here because it kind of represented to me what I'd been talking about of how I've been kind of feeling. There's the little journaling as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's just totally not like me. And I am feeling a little better today, which is good, but I've been in this funk for over a week and it's like killing me. <laughs> it's like so hard, uh, especially as someone who's creative like for a living. So I'm happy to report that making this journal page did make me feel better. Uh, and I, at the end of my journaling page, I did write uh, this too shall pass because I know that it will pass. It's just something that, um, it's just something that happens every once in a while, you know? Everybody gets a funk. So, I decided to, again, like I said, um, just 
make a page that I would make me happy. So I collaged, which I love collaging. I'm using colors that make me happy. So I love teals and yellows. And this pink really complements that as well. And it complements the tomato that I chose. <laughs> I don't even, it's like so weird. <laughs> um, I love that the tomato's like dressed up. Like she's looking fine. She's going somewhere. She's getting things done. But she's just like, ugh. <laughs> So anyway, I'm applying my paint with a, a spatula. There's a more palette knife. There we go. I'm like, there's a term for this. It's a palette knife. Um, and I haven't done this in a very, very, very long time. So that was really fun. It's a very freeing experience. I tore off some of the pink around the edges of that collage piece to kind of tie in that particular shade of pink to the background. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going ham and covering some stuff up and leaving little pieces of the different things that I wanted to incorporate. And I really, really like how it turned out. Then I went ahead and kind of went over some of the writing with some of the paint. Um, I am a person who doesn't really read their writing after. I like to know that it was there and kind of get the general gist of maybe what it was. But usually I can remember even years later flipping back through what I was feeling when I was creating a certain page. So the writing isn't super important and it's not really about any particular like event that I need to revisit. It's just me getting out the blah. <laughs> writing about the this stage of my month or whatever. So I did that. I also have a picture of snow because that's what this uh, whole page started out as. I had glued this uh, forecast calls for snow, which is like a snow cone. Um, but I thought it was funny because we've been getting snow uh, at least a couple times a week uh, this month. So I did have a picture of the snow that was happening that morning out the window uh, to glue in here. And then I'm going ahead and doing the prompt, uh, the collage words. And I really, really liked this, uh, you have to keep reinventing yourself quote. But unfortunately, because it was on green, it just did not work with this page. <laughs> Nothing about it looked good on this page. And I liked the page too much to ignore it. So I went with a different quote which, to be honest, I don't really know what it says, so we're gonna have to look that up. But I just kind of cut that out, and it was on this cream paper, so it worked a lot better for my spread. And I tried it on the collage page, and I just like how it looked um, on the left better, so you'll see me glue that down. Uh, the quote says, you're gonna become an old woman someday. Don't sweat it, every era builds character. And I felt like that really went with the whole, like, thing that I've been talking about, like, my Funkin' stuff. So, I went ahead and glued that down, eventually. Um, I also chose a piece of supporting ephemera just to kind of put under that uh, snowy window picture just to make it all feel a little more cohesive and I knew I wanted a little spot to journal on which of course you can't do on burlap so <laughs> if you're wondering why I have burlap in my journal uh, this journal is a Dina Wakely media journal that I'm using as my creative journal um, for until it's no longer usable this year. <laughs> if you'd like to hear more about that and why I chose this journal, I'll leave my 2021 lineup video linked for you where I chat all about that. But here I am finally gluing down the quote that I keep talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I think that was all of the prompts. Yes, except for the doodling, which should be next. I'm using the tomato as my figure in case you didn't figure that out. Um, <laughs> so, next I wanted to make that little journaling spot for the snow page. Like I said, it's really technically unrelated to the rest of it, but the pages are so large and I really like having that mishmash of different things on the page that all go together. 
I don't need it to be like a complete spread of something. It's just, uh, here's a little bit of this and here's a little bit of that. And I really like that. So I'm gluing down a piece of craft paper to, um, have a little journaling spot and then I decided to pull out these numbers. I'm really trying to focus on using uh, my supplies this year, like things that I've kind of neglected. So one thing that's got neglected are these collage sheet numbers that I used to use all the time. Uh, most of these are from Courtney Diaz over at Little Raven Inc. on her Patreon and I printed them out and cut them out because I've been her patron for literally like ever and since she started almost and I have a lot of these <laughs> so I'm trying to go ahead and use those up so I chose this 23 on the pink because I thought it would tie into the pink on the right page uh, and I used a Tuesday I'm not quite sure where that's from and then I went ahead with a Arteza paint marker in this black color. I'm literally obsessed with this paint marker. I've been using it non-stop since I got these. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so bold and I, chunky and I love it. So I added a W to make it, you know, snow as in the white stuff that comes down from the sky. And then I'm going ahead and putting in my doodles, which is the final prompt uh, for the challenge. And of course, I did stars. I'm sure you're all shocked. <laughs> but yeah, just I like, I love stars and it ties the page together. So might as well stick with what works, right? So I'm just going around doing some bigger black stars and filling those in and then doing some smaller stars and some dots and really just going ham with it because that's what you do and then I went ahead and circled I had a like calendar sticker in there so I went ahead and circled February really messy like because that's the month that we were in when I created this spread even though it's the March prompts uh, it was still February did I say I circled March I have no idea what's what's happening um <laughs> anyway <laughs> moving swiftly along uh I took the paint marker and also made like a little spot where I could journal on with my white pen and I thought it would be clever to do like a little outline but I hadn't waited long enough for the paint pen to dry and the gel pen just did not want to write on it like at all so I kind of messily outlined it and then smudged it with my finger to make them all look the same. I always get yawns when I like do voiceovers. I don't understand. It's been a thing since the beginning of my channel. If this happens to anyone else, please let me know. Or if you're a doctor and understand the scientific reasoning behind it, I would love to know. But that aside, um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole spread. So this is how it turned out the close-up shot. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this page come together and listening to my ridiculous shenanigan rambles as always. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Please, if you join in on the Take 5 Art Challenge with us, use the hashtag so that we can check out all your amazing pages and go ahead and check out the other ladies in the description box below for some extra inspiration. Thank you so much to my patrons for sponsoring today's video. They make what I do over here on YouTube possible so that I can still, you know, pay my bills and feed my puppy and <laughs> all those fun things. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Take care guys. Bye!